Welcome to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. So in today's After Effects tutorial, we are going to see that how we can create some of the basic shapes in Adobe After Effects. These shapes and animations that we are going to create today are used to add an extra edge in any of your introductions or a simple text. So let us see that what we are going to create. So this is a sample animation in which we have created three shapes, the zigzag shape, the spiral shape and some explosions. So you can add these basic shapes once you know how you can create them in anywhere in any of your animations and it will make it look more trendy and add an extra edge of creativity. So let's see that how they are created. So now uh, as we know that we have to create a composition. First of all, go to Composition and select New Composition. Alternatively, you can also press Ctrl N on your keyboard to create a new composition. Now you can name it anything that you want. I'm naming it Trendy Animations. Now keeping a frame rate of 30 frames per second and a duration of 5 seconds with the background color as black, I hit OK. As soon as I do that, a new composition is created. So first of all, I just close this previous composition. Now I go to my layer area and right click, go to new and create a solid layer. Now name it BG cause it will be our background and this time I'm going to choose a pure black background and hit OK. Once you're happy with your background, you can just lock this background layer. The next thing we are going to do is add some of the text. So Go to the text tool and click anywhere in your composition and type in any text that you want. This is the text that I am happy with. The next thing I'm going to do is go to effects and presets and search for an effect called transform. Now as soon as I apply this effect onto my text layer, I need to just change this skew value to a negative 15 and my text will look like this. The next thing I'm going to do is align my text to the center both horizontally and vertically. So it looks like this. After this, I'm going to animate the entry of this text layer by expanding this text layer. The next thing I will do is go to animate and select scale. Now, while I am on the very first frame, I will just change the value of scale to a 0% and keyframe it then move forward about 15 frames in time and change the value of scale back to 100%. Now if we preview our animation, it looks like this, which is quite eye-catching effect. So that was about our text. Now once our text has occurred, the next thing we are going to do is add some of the shapes or the trendy animations for which we are working on. So Grab onto the pen tool and make sure that none of your layers is selected. Now make sure that your fill is set to none and the stroke is set to a solid color. Now just change the width of stroke to around 15 pixels and choose any color of your choice. The next thing we are going to do is draw a line like this and this will turn out to be our zigzag line. So to convert this line into a zigzag fashion, what do we need to do is just grab onto the shape layer, expand it. Here you will find an option of add. So just click on this arrow. Here you will find an option of zigzag. Select it. Now here you will find that zigzag one is added over here. Expand it. And as soon as you do that, you will find some of the values over here which you can manipulate to easily create a zigzag pattern as per your choice. I'm changing the size value to a 14 and the ridges per segment value I'm keeping to around 7. The points I'm changing to smooth or you can also keep the same values or if you want you can just change values as per your choice. Now I'm happy with this shape. The next thing I'm going to do is Again, go to add and add a trim paths. Now, I 
I'm going to change the value of end to a 0% and keyframe it. Now I will move forward a few frames in time and change the value of end back to 100%. The moment the value of end is changed to 100%, I will keyframe the value of start at 0% and move forward uh, about a few frames in time and change the value of start back to 100%. So this animation will be created. which is pretty cool to look at. The next thing uh, you can do is copy these values as much as you want and place it at different positions in time as well as at different positions in the composition. So I'm just going to duplicate this value. Next I'm just going to change its position a little bit. around here so if we just preview it now then it looks like this now you can place it anywhere in your composition and add different intervals of time now this is our zigzag animation so just select these two shape layers and pre-compose them together now name it anything you want I'm naming it zigzag the next thing we are going to do is a spiral animation. So for it, again, you have to grab your pen tool and make sure the stroke is set to a solid color with no fill and choose a color of your choice. Keeping a stroke width of around 15 pixels, we just draw a line, straight line over here. The next thing we are going to do is expand this layer and go to add. This time we will add an option or animation called twist. Now we just need to expand this twist and here we will find the value of angle. So we need to increase the value of angle until it transforms into a spiral. Now I am happy with this shape. The next thing I am going to do is add another animation technique called trim paths. Now expand this trim paths, set the value of end to a 0% keyframe it. Move forward a few frames in time. Keyframe the value of end to 100%, then keyframe the value of start at 0% and move forward again a few frames in time and change it back to 100%. Now if we preview it, now with this our spiral animation is also complete. Now you can just uh, copy this same animation and change its color or its size and place it at different points in time or at different places in your same composition. Now uh, just grab onto this layer and pre-compose it and call it a spiral. Now once you are happy with it, the next animation that we are going to perform is that of an explosion. So for that we have to grab onto our shape tool and change its shape to an ellipse. This time we have to change the stroke to a none and fill to a solid color. Now we are having a yellow color so this yellow is what I am happy with. Hit OK and draw a perfect circle by pressing on to the shift key. Now this is the circle that I am happy with. Once you are happy with your circle, just expand your shape layer, go to add here you will find an option of wiggle paths. So just select it and expand this wiggle paths. Here you have to play with some of the values like you have to increase the size a little bit like this. I'm keeping the size an exact 80. Increase the value of detail to around 20 to 25. I'm keeping it 23. If you want, you can change the value of points to smooth or keep it at corner as per your wish. You can also increase the wiggles per second to around 10 and the next thing we are going to do is hit S on this keyboard to bring up the scale property. Keyframe the value of scale at a 0%. Move forward to about 2 frames in time change it back to a hundred percent then 
move forward a few frames in time and keyframe it again at 100% and at the very next frame change the value of scale back to a 0%. Now once we have done that, let's preview that what our explosion animation looks like. So this is the explosion animation which is pretty cool to look at. Now if you want you can also just uh, move these keyframes a little bit closer. So this was all about our Adobe After Effects tutorials in which we discussed about the trendy animation techniques. Hope you all have enjoyed it and if you do please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And also keep watching the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge for more such tutorials. Till then bye bye.